The UK is giving Ukraine 14 Challenger 2 tanks, including armor-piercing ammunition containing depleted uranium. DU, as it's known, is a byproduct of nuclear enrichment, the process that's used to make nuclear fuel and nuclear weapons. The uranium remaining after enrichment is depleted and around 40% less radioactive than naturally occurring uranium. It's used to make tank shells because it's so hard. At the same speed, depleted uranium rounds are up to 20% more effective than older tungsten ones. Conventional tungsten ammunition deforms when it hits metal, making it progressively blunter. Depleted uranium rounds, on the other hand, sharpen as they travel through, giving them greater punch. As it bores through, the DU penetrator also pushes in the tank's own armour. The crew inside then face not just a high-velocity projectile, but also fragments of their own vehicle, all ricocheting around their confined space at deadly speed. To make things worse, depleted uranium ignites when it's exposed to oxygen, creating fire and potentially cooking off ammunition and fuel inside the tank. For the crew, the effects can be catastrophic. Depleted uranium rounds were first used during the Gulf War by both British and American forces. As well as ammunition, the US also had 600 tanks fitted with DU armour, none of which were penetrated by Iraqi fire. America also operated the A-10 Thunderbolt, a tank-killing jet designed around the huge Avenger Gatling gun. It can fire depleted uranium ammunition at a rate of nearly 4,000 rounds a minute. The British Challenger II tank can carry nearly 50 shells, and the Gulf War was the only time British forces have used depleted uranium ammunition. In the years that followed, there's been a lot of controversy, with claims their use causes long-term health damage and contaminates the environment. Both the UK MOD and the US Department of Defence dispute that though, claiming independent scientific research has shown there to be no link between depleted uranium and human cancer. Simon Newton, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.